My name is Bradley Hallen. My law firm is called the Law Offices of C. Bradley Hallen, and I'm here in Cardiff, California. Our client been riding his entire life. He was riding up in the mountains near a town called Running Springs, and a refrigerator delivery truck pulled out from a side street directly into his path of travel. He was unable to avoid colliding uh, with the d delivery truck. The truck driver had done what he did in, on purpose, intentionally. Uh, it wasn't an accidental blowing of a stop sign. He intentionally ran the stop sign um, to beat a, a car across the intersection. And he, he failed to look to his right where the motorcycle rider did was coming from. And so our client uh, had absolutely no reason to anticipate what was going to happen. And, Unfortunately, uh, he was killed when he slammed into the side of the refrigerator truck. We've found through jury research and through jury verdicts that sometimes juries kind of tend to side with the larger vehicle driver instead of the motorcyclist because they, it's harder for them to identify with the motorcyclist. There was an eyewitness who was coming the other direction, the opposite direction from the motorcycle. Turns out was an employee of the Sheriff's Department. It immediately stopped, pulled over, tried to render aid to, uh, to the man that was killed, and we're in a position to tell the truth about what had occurred. And ultimately, the truck driver admitted uh, what he had done. I remember making eye contact with him, and then him like hurrying to get to the other side. He, did a, he didn't fully stop. He just saw us, kind of rolled, and then kept going. So here's why we involved DK Global. The accident reconstruction firm that was hired in this case actually did an animation, but they created an animation which in our mind was defensive, was geared to proving that the motorcycle rider did nothing wrong. What we wanted DK Global to do, instead of just showing the accident and how it happened, we wanted DK Global to show the point of view of the various parties. But perhaps most importantly, we wanted to, to visualize the point of view of the truck driver, what he saw, the decision making that he engaged in. Showing the accident is a big part of it. So people can kind of experience what the various parties to the accident did experience on the day of the collision. This collision occurred in August of, of 2015 uh, and we didn't resolve the case until uh, this spring in 2018. There were four defendants. Ultimately, we were able to settle the case for $10 million, a global settlement on behalf of our clients, the three children of the man who was killed, and the, uh, the wife um, who was represented by another law firm. So it was settled globally for the $10 million, and then the family decided among themselves how to apportion um, the proceeds of the settlement.